next backdrop, enter Iron Mike Tyson. You know he's had a huge embrace for mixed martial arts. I didn't think we'd see him compete in this setting. Hope he's been working on his takedown defense. Yeah, he's gonna need it. Iron Mike's gonna need to be able to stay upright if he wants to give himself a chance. But if he's on his feet every second of the fight, Mike Tyson has the ability to knock you out. Imagine a guy that can put you out with 10-ounce gloves, landing with four-ounce gloves in the UFC octagon. Mike is fast, Mike has great setups, and Mike has a meanness about him that not many others have. You better be careful fighting Iron Mike Tyson. He is ferocious, and seemingly the speed and power are still there at his advanced age. Mike Tyson trying to make headway here in the UFC tonight. with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. This is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at the bar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Signature peekaboo style to try to get inside. Has been vulnerable to leg kicks, though, since he transitioned to mixed martial arts. He's worked hard on the takedown defense. We'll see if Tyson can keep this fight upright here tonight in what is a very interesting stylistic challenge. by that stiff jab. Man, this is crazy, DC. These fighters are not trying to just touch each other. They're trying to put each other out with every shot. John, with every shot, these guys are trying to end the fight. What a start. Oh, big left hook there. Come on, let's get it. Man, his sidekick is just killer. You saw it right there. He has a really good sidekick. He's so fast. There is no tell when he attempts that certain strike. So more output, at least in the early going. Now he's starting to find his groove with the counter strikes. This is his bread and butter to keep his opponent at bay and keep him guessing. And when his opponent over engages, make him pay with a straight right hand, straight left, or a jab. Nicely done with the hands there.
All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Take it to the ground. Just out of range with that strike. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Three minutes to go here, round one. Oh, and he connects there. When he gets close and he throws, he lands. Well, it's not always easy being a counter-striker, but when you can execute the style this effectively, oh, is that a huge strike right there? I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh, that's big. Attempt now blocked though by Lee. Hands high, hands high. Nice shot there by the champ. Oh. oh, I think he's still compromised. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble. Oh, nice high kick. Gets in close and gets that single collar tie locked in tight. Pretty good straight punch there by Lee. So three minutes off the clock in our first round. Oh! And now he lands a combination. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, lands the overhand up top. He's got to throw that kick behind those punches. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side, underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, but he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Oh, he's staying busy here, connecting with a barrage of punches. He's in a good flow right now. He's landing big shots to the body. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. 30 seconds to go in the round. Nice punch by Lee. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Final seconds here of round one. Tyson's no... On wobbly legs now. Oh, big left. Uh, what a round. Uh. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, back to the stools we go. Offensively, a lot to like from him, but on defense, he hasn't been able to stop anything tonight. Yeah, it's got to be the whole game, though, John. He's got to be willing and able to do everything. He's done a good job on the offensive side, but he has not defended well, and now he's dealing with that nasty cut. That cut is going to be an issue as the fight goes forward. He's got to change something. You ready? You ready? Go. All right, let's get to round two. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Jeez, you can hear that. <laughs> oh! Oh! Hurt him bad. He's limping. That would suggest that the leg kick is having the desired effect. Block that shot. Man, has his chin been tested early.
Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's go. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut. And man, it's getting oh. Oh, another one. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him, he hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. It's oh. Both tough, both durable, both unwilling to take a step back. What a phenomenal fight. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Three minutes to go in round two. Big shot to the head. Another good stick to the head. Slips. Well, he is really oh, picture perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Man. Missed up. Oh. oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to right chase up. that finish down now. Right Great job being busy off of his back. Lands a beautiful strike from the bottom. Well, you can sense the corner frustration. He has not had any answer for these body shots, and now you see the visible damage. Well, his coaches are wondering, where's the defense? We worked on this. We knew this would be an attack that they would come with. Why are you not doing what we've trained? He's got to change something, man. He's got to tuck that elbow. He's got to roll and turn. He cannot continue to take these body shots. Really smart approach by the offensive fighter, badgering that cut. More blood by the minute. If head movement wasn't important early, it's very important. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Slips. Looks like the cut man to my right is starting to get anxious with all the high volume of strikes being landed here. He has really kept his opponent on his heels throughout. He's had him on his heels. He's got him reacting. He's reacting to the fates. He's reacting to the jab. He's reacting to every single thing coming in his direction. He has got to find a way to change the narrative, to change the way that this fight is playing out if he wants an opportunity. But to this point, this boxer has looked amazing. Well, he's not leaking information. He is leaking blood and a lot of it as his opponent continues to realize success. I mean, that's right over the top. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low. It's a right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Big right hand. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just got to find that kill shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with reps. That comes with taking your time. You get excited, and you want to finish because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswim and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down when he wants to get his opponent out of his way. Final seconds here. Lee's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. And what a round! All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. I right, will no surprise to see that eye continue to be targeted. Some replays from the previous round in which a lot of damage was doled out. Well, the cut man's got some work to do to try to give this kid an opportunity to stay in the fight because the reality is he has taken far too many shots to the eye and now he's dealing with a nasty cut. He has got to change something. You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high. 
and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. Lee's left leg is damaged now. Perhaps it was that last kick that did the damage, but you can see a clear limp that the fighter is dealing with right now. Tyson gets touched by that kick there. Slips that left hand. Well, he lands another strike there, DC, and no surprise, the swelling only getting worse. It's getting worse. You know, we talked about this very early. How long? Both fighters throwing heat now. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the goal. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Huge left hand. Slips the punch nicely there. It's getting really hard to watch him absorb shots on that eye. I wonder if the referee's thinking about calling him a doctor now. Well, well, John, the entirety of the fight, that has been the target of his opponent. He has not adjusted defensively, and now he's paying for it. Now, somebody's gonna have to save it. Somehow, his opponent stayed up I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Just over three minutes to go in round three. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. Tyson's hook shot there looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple of... Oh! oh, he is stunned, trying to recover here. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Yeah. What a great fight. Damage doled out on both sides. Perhaps some bonus money coming the way of these two individuals at night. 50K, baby. Somebody's getting paid. These two guys are doing a great job in a fight that is so competitive, that is so evenly matched. These two really will be proud of the effort that they have shown inside the outfit. Back and forth we go. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything land. Oh. Feels like the beginning of the end. Lee's doing a nice job there. You saw him raise the guard to block that off. Oh. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relax. Oh! Oh! It's a right hand! And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, my goodness! That's going to do it! Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. We send it inside the octagon once more. Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 47 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Well, who would have thought that the former boxing champion Iron Mike Tyson would become a bona fide